There, get in there. back on the big old D8K. If you remember last time Mr. Kevin left us, I may have sent him down the road. But guess what? <laughs> He's back! You can't get rid of me. I'm like a bad case of war. For all you people who were worrying, he had a day off on Friday, so. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Stepped on a mountain lion What is that? That's your cat. <laughs> that cat ain't that big. That's a freaking wolf. <laughs> anyway, you guys remember we left off in this thing, put exhaust manifold on it, service thing, put new filters on it. There's a video on that. There's a couple videos down below of trucking this thing in from uh, Kentucky. You guys remember where we left off, this track was bleeding off, so hopefully you guys can hear us. All the madness going on over there. Anyway, I think first thing we're going to do today is pull us in the shop. We'll pull this cover off and see where the grease is coming from. I can't see if it's coming around the seal. I didn't see anything in there last week, so we'll get that in there. We're probably going to have to bust the track apart. That's going to be a fun time. This has a master link on it somewhere. We'll probably try to get it up here on the uh, front idler. Bust it apart. It's all coming out anyways. Yeah. <laughs> well, thankfully this doesn't have to come out if I remember right on these cats. I think we can just pull a section out of there, but I could be wrong. So, how do you like the big old straight stack up there? I love it. It actually wasn't that loud, I was surprised. It's got a muffler on it. <laughs> it don't have no muffler on it. It's got a round spinning muffler on it. Oh, a turbo muffler? That's right. It's really not any louder than it was before. No. Anyway. I don't think five inch muffler is actually muffled. <laughs> no. So we got to put all this goodness back together too, after we get the track fixed. You looking forward to that? You guys see we got some cut off bolts here. There's actually a threaded plate behind here. Some of them, I think those will come loose. We may have to oxy lance those out. We'll do that uh, here after a bit, but it's a nice blade. We just got to put it back together again so we can put it up for sale. Then hopefully we don't have to take it back apart when we do sell it. So you can actually haul these down the road all together, but you have to get pilot cars and stuff and the right axle truck and trailer so anyway they had this thing apart before i got there so i think we're gonna fire this dude up and pull it in the shop see what kind of mess we're gonna get ourselves into Sa saving the earth one one start at a time here boys oh it ain't gonna smoke or nothing why not it's a little chilly out too this morning oh it'd be all right come on just hit it Hey, bub, that's how clouds are made.
You're all right. Oh, 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 oh. A little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit, a little bit. One more. Oh. Perfect. You know, you're kind of getting me a little close. You think this just stops on a dime or something? It did. Yeah. It's only 70,000 pounds of iron. I think we may have went lower than the 450 advertised idle RPM. Oh, I think it'll idle like at 100 RPM. She's a chugger. She is. She's no hit and miss. So we got the old master link right up on top of here. We think that's a good spot, don't we? Sure. I'm going to guess we need the big one-inch air hose and one-inch gun. You want to take this cover off first, maybe? Maybe there's something else going on. That, yeah. that would be. Yeah. That's what smart people would do. We'll get that busted off there first. How you doing under there? You're not taking a nap, are you? No, no. The only good thing about working on a big dozer is you've got like eight feet of room under here. Like you can have a party under there. Yeah, you can turn You sit upright if you want. <clears throat> I'm guessing this thing is really heavy. It's built out of like half inch plates. What you need there, bud? Seven eighths. He's got rounded, huh? Yeah. Kevin says he's got the pro tip of the day covered today. It's usually me. So typically, when you have a bolt that wants to go in a hole, but it's not the right size washer, <laughs> what we do is it's called a pyramid technique. A stacking technique. You just start stacking larger washers <laughs> over the smaller. Well, maybe washer. maybe the Egyptians worked on this. Yeah. That's your pro tip of the day. Oh, look at this one. This one had a lot washer, then a washer. Oh, that it. wouldn't. That's why that one was so tight. Oh, yeah. That's got dirt in it, hopefully. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make washers. Are we going to have to get a forklift to just get this thing off? Looks heavy. And up, up. All right, so everybody it's always wondering how these tracks tighten up on these dozers. You guys are going to have to pay attention here. This is kind of kind of the same on pretty much all of them. You guys see there's grease right there. There's actually a grease fitting. That light's kind of blinding people. There's a grease fitting right here, and it actually puts grease in this cavity. Inside this one, there's actually a piston. And what that piston does, it actually uh, pushes back on this and makes this rod go forward, which in turn is hooked to the idler and makes it go out. So... You guys can see there's no grease leaking around here. I got out the parts book. There's actually a piston inside here, as I just said. You guys can see that right there. So the grease comes down there and fills that cavity up right there. And this piston is blocked back in here. So grease is forcing that idler forward there. So you guys can see that little circle. There's actually some seals right there. So what's probably happening when we're pumping grease, and it's probably just bypassing back his piston, filling up this hollow cavity, and it could even be squirting out in the big spring. So there's a big recoil spring back behind her too. So if you hit a big shock, stump, rock, or something like that, it will actually take some of the shock out of that final drive in the track frame assembly. So, so I think what we're going to do, I've done this before in D7s. I'm assuming the D8's the same. We're going to bust the track apart. We should be able to slide this idler all the way forward. This splits right here. So we should be able to slide this all the way forward. We should be able to get out that piston assembly out there and rebuild it. So. Fingers crossed, anyway. Somebody's already been here. Oh, yeah? How do you figure? Well, Mr. Weldy? We have a square nut. Oh, that's all we had a track bolt. A track bolt. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> times, times were rough. Oh, okay. Hopefully, we don't find anything uh, hiding out in there. So, we never find any surprises, do we? No. Grease monsters or broken parts? Scorpions? I've not got the seal kit in for this. I ordered it a couple days ago. It's not showed up. I'm hoping it shows up here. So we're trying to get ahead of the game in case there is something else broke here. For sure. So. Why do you keep saying I, other things? Are gonna be I just know how this old crap goes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've been working feverishly, haven't we? Days. Days. Oh. You guys can see we've got a poopy mess going on here. There's all of our red grease we put in. We took all the bolts out that held those two halves together. And uh, when we picked this track up, some of the grease squeezed out of there. Trying to be proactive, this thing's big. We've got this chained up to the tractor here. We've got this chained up to the cylinder. We're going to bust the track apart here, so hopefully all that track stays there. 
that's good and safe to work under there we've got the forklift under here and uh yeah it's just that easy so we'll, once we bust that track apart we'll let that track fall on the floor that act like a little train track here we'll pull that idler out hopefully till it hits right here and then we can get that piston out that's the idea anyway we got to get you an action yeah, shot because yeah okay. Boy, you're good at this. Yeah. You should work more often. Right? <laughs> yeah, we should have not turned that camera on. The first two came out like a. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is good. Hey, all right, we'll go back to a commercial break. <laughs> Got you took it under control. Really? Oh, it come apart. These people see all that hot, steamy mess. They know what went on. We had to get the old hot wrench out. That's right. Kevin wasn't man enough either, was you? Uh uh. Uh uh. I hear it sizzling. We'll get that popped out of there and we'll have a track party. Pry bar? I'm gonna say that's really hot. Yeah, I'll try to right. I think that's it. You wanna get that side of the track? Is that hot? Maybe. There's gloves on this here. Torch. I'll give you the gloves. Okay. I'll get this side. And you're gonna manhand it. I'm a man. Okay. At least nothing stripped out or broke. I think you gotta go up. You got her, Bubby? Pretty heavy. You guys can see the alligator link there. It's not been a part. This is all cat factory undercarriage. I don't know if it's original or not, but it's all in super good shape. You know what we're gonna do on this tractor is an undercarriage measurement video. Yeah. All right. Back the fork truck up. Let the thunder fall. Maybe not like that abrupt, but gently on my floor. Since we have no more rails poking out here. Not my floor. You guys know we've got eight by eight steel I beams in here just for this reason, but not right here. Go on down. Let's go down. Now you can back up a little. Back up. You got your forks jammed. Oh, is that the problem? You got her. Perfect. Now you need to come right back up here and we need to pull this out. Go down a little bit, Kevin. Alright. Yep. I think you need to go up a little bit. Now back up. I might have to help you there a little bit. Keep doing that. You're walking it out. This thing is tight on here. It's not been out for a long time. You like about a quarter inch. There, you're there. You got her. There's a little stop in there. I think that's it. We'll see if it comes out. Or that's one way to use a forklift, ain't it? <laughs> I hope a forklift guy don't see that. What? <laughs> All right, you ready to work again? I am. It's probably gonna quit right now. We got the. Are you gonna explain to the people what we're doing? No. We're giving birth. Oh, oh. 
Is... No oh boy. Oh yeah, she come out. There we go. It's at me too. Look at her go. Hey, you did it. Congratulations. Somebody's gotta do it. That's just not for the show. That's right. All that dirt. Yeah, I just don't take dirt. You did it for real. Are I'm proud of you. People where it was leaking at? Where is it leaking? I don't know. Looks like it was leaking around the back. Had to be. No, oh, probably that seal there that's not real happy. Hmm. Hmm. So grease pushes in there and it's supposed to push on that, but looks like the old lips kind of wore out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a big crack here too. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess that's part of the problem. Get more expensive every second. <laughs> so, what are we doing now? We're waiting on parts for that. So. Oh, boy. Ooh. Nobody needs any grease. You got, got some? Mmm. Yummy. It's delicious. Well, we get this all cleaned up. I think we're going to have to go work on that blade next. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you? I can tell. I'm just tickled. I Let's tell. do this. All right. Here we go. All right. While we're waiting on seals for that to show up, we're actually going to get in the old crane there, pick up his blade, and we'll show you what we're doing. What are you doing? Uh, just the so these attached to the arms down there. I'll go down here in the other end. I actually had to cut those bolts off. It's real hard to get a wrench in there. It's kind of a bad design. You guys can see. What do you got up there? Bob Wild Bob America. Bob. I think that's called a hawk. No, that's bald eagle. In your book. Bald eagle. <laughs> your special book. So this ball and socket goes right on here. You guys can see these are cut off. They're rusting. There's actually a threaded plate to your caterpillar. It doesn't sell that threaded plate anymore. So we'll probably just use some nuts in there. Um, I think what we're going to do is pick it up. Sit over close to the door. We'll see if these will work loose. Um, not, we'll take a hammer, hit them, do something. Not, we'll <laughs> bore them out, won't we? <laughs> There's roosters up there, too. We're just in the middle of a nature we, we sanctuary. Got a little, we got a little funny farm going. We do. A bald eagle trying to talk to me right now. I don't know if those people can hear all that, but yeah, they can. we're right here in the middle of nature. All right, been working on the crane a little bit. We got it motivating again, we think. You hear that? Uh, huh? I got a bolt and a nut that thread out the middle of the parking lot. This is better than what the Lawson lady's got. Yeah. All right, we'll see if the old man is fired up.
mad craning skills. I don't think I get any job as a crane operator. We're gonna leave that out. You wasn't doing any of the hand motions, right? Yeah, I did. I looked at the manual. We're gonna leave that out of the way for right now. All right, we better get after these here. Yeah. We think sledgehammer and a torch. Let's do it. Power lube. Got these down. We're not even gonna have to get out the oxy lance, are we? We're just that good. No oxy lance today, boys. No, nope. that one guy's gonna be disappointed. He loves He's, the oxy lance. He run me down to auction. Well, I know what that tool is called. Some oxy old guy. Lance. It's pretty cool. All right, you guys don't know what we're talking about. You just have to subscribe, and maybe you'll see it later on. That's right. Hey. Easy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut those off, I guess. Then we'll knock those down the rest of the way. Probably have to cut them another time, won't we? Yep. got that all bolted up and new bolts what we're gonna do Kevin's over there we're gonna go ahead and put this brace on from there to there he's found it in the pile down here that way to hold that uh, arm in place and then we'll probably put the other arm on we got put we got a crossbar assembly has got to go in there too but I think we can put it in after the fact I'm gonna grab the forklift here pick that dude up out of the pile Yeah, I thought it's heavy. It's a lightweight racing edition, obviously. Put this into there. I already see a problem. What's that, bub? Nope, no more. 
No more problems. No more problems? I fixed it. You didn't know this. So they do we know? They usually don't swivel. Do you know? Yeah, they usually don't. <laughs> They're usually rigid. So, you guys know this is a, what they call a four-way blade. It picks up and down. It also tilts left to right. There'll be a tilt cylinder on this side. So, if you want to adjust what they call the pitch on the blade, how far it's angled forward or back, you can actually crank this here thing. That's supposed to move. That doesn't anymore. And it has threads in here. You're going to make this rod longer or shorter, which will change the pitch on your blade. So, usually you get them set and leave them. So, this is your fun fact of the day. That's what we're going to do. All right, we can lower that forklift down, and then we'll probably take a crane, swing this one over a little bit, and we'll put the pin in there. Inspector Gadget. So what do we do here, Mr. Kevin? Well, you see the deadline is approaching and there's problems ahead. So we picked the thing up and thought we had some water leaking out. <laughs> oh, no, no. no Actually, no. it was not water. So if you know, guys don't know how these old D8s work, the tilt lines for that tilt cylinder up there actually come from the tractor, go through the blade, and all the way up there. So we kind of noticed when we picked it up, we had oil going everywhere. This whole cavity was plumb full of oil. They run these lines through here. And we found a leak, didn't we? That's right. We actually <laughs> did. Somebody had some Permatec sealing her up. Yeah. Oh, you guys see that there? We've got a blowing line. She's a leaker, boy. We're just going to fix one, right? Yep. No. Why wouldn't, wouldn't we? we? Kevin just wants to cut that off and recrimp the end on it. I say we bring the crimper out here. I don't think so. We're going to make two new lines, get that all back together. Isn't that right? Yeah. And then we'll go back to putting it on the freaking blade over here. <laughs> Just ruined the whole day. <laughs> it is like, it's November. It's how 70. warm is it? It's like 75 degrees. It's hot out here. Yeah. 75. Yeah, see how I got shorts on and y'all got pants You always got shorts on. That's all right. You've even got long sleeve. You gotta be getting hot. That's why you're drinking water. I know why you wore pants today. Why? Look at his pockets are bulging. Oh. Don't be taking those bolts, Everybody Uncle Scott. Bolts? Hey, get those lines off so we can make some. Okay. Why don't you do something? Nah. All right, I got the old nasty ones pulled out. It looks like they're blowed out in a couple places. We got two brand new hoses we just made. 12 foot each. That's not going to be cheap. Oh, what the deal? These are factory cat hoses. They've been in there forever or just their time was done? I think... They've been leaking and they just kept filling that tractor up with oil because that whole thing was full of oil, wasn't it, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> there you go, bud. Alright. Well, that was pretty easy when you got a 12-inch hollow tube. That's right. Alright, we're going to get those fastened back up. We'll get a rig back up the crane and we'll uh, set you guys back up on time lapse while we get that slammed together.
What noise? I, got it. I didn't hear no noise. Or like. just like we wanted it to, didn't it? No, what were you looking at over here? Ah, uh, nothing to see here. That was already bent, bud. <laughs> I think it was more about the end of it. Mm, that's fine. <laughs> we even hit the boards dead on. It's kind of like we've done it before, but we haven't. Well, we did it. How do you feel about it? I feel good. I'm liking it. We got to hook up these hoses that Kevin's blocking here. Put her guard on. Orange to orange. And Get that? Work. Yeah, I don't think that's. that's so the guy that took this apart marked all the fittings, but the problem is we changed those lines in there. And you do know we got a 50 50 shot of getting it right. Oh, yeah. So if we get those hoses backwards, it's going to tilt the wrong way. We'll probably do if that's the case. We'll just change them right back here where it's easy. So I think we'll go ahead and get all that stuff on there. And uh, Randy's going to pick up some seals in the morning for the uh, track adjuster. And we'll be back in the morning and uh, get the track put back together. Then we'll slam the blade back on her and she'll start looking like a dozer again. What do you think? We gotta clean up a big old mess out here. All right, we'll be back in the morning. All right, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> we got some new seals. Should we tell them about my escapade? Yeah, tell them. Tell them that I've been to Indianapolis and got some seals that were supposed to be here last night. That you paid premium dollars for yeah. emergency shipping. I'm not gonna call Cat out because everybody's got issues, but. COVID, everybody brings, blames everything on COVID. It's employee shortages. ITR America's got them, John Deere's got them, Caterpillar's got them, I think everybody has them. We got them. We got them. <laughs> Nobody wants to work. So anyway, Caterpillar sent me, Caterpillar sent me every single seal that I didn't need, and the one that I needed, they did not send me. Thank you. And it was at the same place all the other ones, they just, I don't know. Anyway, we got I ran now. up to Indianapolis and got one that would work. We're going to get it together, aren't we? All right. You ready? Let's do this. I think you need to grease that up. No, that's it, Bobby. Okay. There I go. Now you're going to have to get out your purse and smack it. That's what you tell me. How'd well, that go for you? Sealed it. You put more hammer marks on it like your brows did. You right, didn't get it. <laughs> this one? I think actually we can just give her the ramrod. Yeah, push her either in to push it in. We got a couple new seals to put in here. Let go in there. Scott, Scott you're not gonna push that. <laughs> we'll get those new seals in there. Yeah. We'll slide this together. We need to get some new bolts fat too, unless you're gonna use these old crusty things. No, I know a guy. You Scott, okay. open your pockets up. If you had one, You couldn't put all those in your pocket, could you, Uncle Scott? I've got some in my pocket. Car ramrod, are you ready? Fire. Okay, Kevin's going to push this forward. Are you gonna hit it with your purse or what? <laughs> You're doing a good job. Whoa, bud. You got her. Shut her down. <laughs> Got some new bolts. Yeah, you sent it all right. We're gonna get a pry bar and pry that dude over. <laughs> all right, Turbo Special K, Kevin. You know you got some mail. Where? Christmas mail. It said Turbo Kevin on it. Makes me happy. Maybe in the next video or so, we'll have to start opening up Christmas letters. Kevin loves Christmas cards. You guys have been sending a bunch of stuff. We'll have to do a episode of opening up Christmas stuff. So we got that cover on. Got everything bolted up. Now. Just need some. Now. Now's the time for the fun part. So 
Got brand new track bolts. Got them all anti seized up. I'll let Kevin yeah, put those in. You did. We don't want them stuck again. Oh, nice. Got this big old wheel of turning. Probably better slide your forks together and we'll get up under that. quarter socket on there. Alright, that went together pretty easy. You can go ahead and back off, Randy. I'll have you come over here and pick up. get outside so we just took the radiator off before we put the blade on the reason is you gotta get washed that's gotta be painted it'll make your life a lot easier Kevin got the track all tightened up you guys just seen one thing we got to do it's missing a couple track bolts I seen when I pulled it in a couple times so I got some new track bolts here I actually put one on you might have seen on camera down there I think it's missing one over here but I'm gonna fire it up and the guys are gonna look for Loose nuts, right? <laughs> We're gonna look for a couple missing bolts. We'll get those in there and we'll pull the old dude outside and try to get the blade on it. You need a lot more than that. <laughs> hey, is this how clouds are made? Clouds? You're yeah. getting ready to find out after clouds. we heat the old 1100 and what, 46 oh, cubic yeah. inch? Just send it. Send it. It won't start. Fire. You ready? Maybe.
Alright, Randy, let her in. We'll do the other side. So, Kevin got the lines hooked up. Did you get them the right way? They're always right. So we're going to hook these up next. So if you guys don't know, both these cylinders are hooked together into a T. So whichever cylinder moves easiest, has the least resistance, will come out first. Which one is that? That one. So once, whichever one's the easiest will come out first till it gets more resistance and the other one will go. So when they're hooked together, they'll work normally. Kevin's taking bets on this one. I'd say you might be right on this one. The reason is, if that one sits for about a week, it kind of leaks off a little bit. Is that why you're guessing? You want to leave that side together first, Kevin? We'll see what happens. Do you need a uh, something to turn that to in? You ready? See which one moves first. up on your tilt cylinder over there, bud. You got it off. You're going to have to change them. If you're doing a good job down here, though. Well, we got any good news over here? Nope. Sure doesn't look like it. <laughs> Cheese a leaker, boys. Cheese a leaker. That's because you hooked the lines up backwards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why. That's yeah. put too much pressure in it, yeah. see? The guy told me he rebuilt cylinders. So you must have meant those two, because this one doesn't look like it's been rebuilt. Weird. You know why what? you keep trusting people. I don't know. You know what the good thing is? You probably have that. Cylinder. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing on the D7F. Remember I told you it had D8K tilt cylinder on it? Oh, you got one, man. So I've got those. So we might blow. Wham bam that out real Brand quick. New bolts. Brand new bolts is gonna come right out like butter. Where it stays getting better and better, ain't it? Yeah. Alright, if you guys notice, we might be missing something there. Yank the whole tilt cylinder off, we're trying to get it apart. I'm actually getting ready to take off for a few days, so being it wasn't coming apart, I don't have the time to mess with it. I'm just gonna have a hydraulic shop uh, pick her up and rebuild that. Meantime, Randy's going to give this dude a washing, and then Kevin's going to work his magic all over it, hopefully. Put a chain on there to take place of that uh, tilt cylinder so the blade don't flop around, but we'll fire it up and take it back here to Randy's wash pad. magic on another reason I'm in a hurry I didn't say so earlier it is November here right now you guys can see there's no leaves on the trees and it is like 75 degrees so I'm wanting to take full advantage of that weather right now to get this thing washed and get it sandblasted so you'll probably work on that uh, paint job and uh, we'll probably end up painting that cylinder and stuff separate later on and install it after the tractor gets painted but uh, yeah hang around here she's gonna be looking different 
All right, guys, unfortunately, this video is getting pretty long. I know you guys is wanting to see the finished product. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of it here right now. You guys can see we got our cylinder back, rebuilt, and it might have yellow paint on it. So, fortunately, you guys are going to have to wait till next time to see that. So, if you guys liked everything you've seen, um, definitely give me a big thumbs up. Hit that like button. It helps me out a lot for sure. And uh, if you don't want to miss out on that, you might consider subscribing and doing that so you don't miss out on the videos. And, uh, had some people too that's been uh, saying hey I missed a video or something I post videos every Tuesday and Friday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon so I always post two a week so if you miss something go back and look more than likely it's there so but uh, we appreciate you guys watching and I guarantee you the next video is going to be pretty cool coming out we'll see you guys next time